Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna look at this upcoming Xiaomi Media Motion Stabilizer for their new 4K camera. Let's go. In the box, you'll find the gimbal, a USB cable, and a small instruction manual. I noticed right away that this stabilizer felt really well designed and it feels really well holding it. On the mount, it has a small micro USB connector that goes into the camera and there's a screw to mount the camera to the stabilizer as well. On the handle, you'll find an on off switch that enables the gimbal as well as the camera when you have that mounted. Also, you'll find a photo and video controller, which is very helpful to start and stop recording. And there's a small joystick that is uh, used to pan and tilt the camera manually. On the back, there's a red colored switch that is uh, used to increase or decrease the exposure. And there's a hold switch that holds the camera steady in its current direction. On the side of the handle below that rubber thingy, you can find a small micro USB port to charge the gimbal's battery. And on the bottom, there's a thread that allows you to mount the gimbal to a tripod. So now that we've seen what's on here, let's look at how it performs. I took it with me on a trip to Europe recently where I've made some of these shots and per default the gimbal follows your motion and makes that into a much smoother motion. It also absorbs shocks when walking or even running and it does that rather well. Here I'm walking through Amsterdam and you can see the motion when I'm walking through these streets it looks really really smooth. Also the manual pan and tilt options on the handle give you some really nice results. Although when you do that motion with a fish eye you can really see the lens distortion so if you would want to use that I would suggest to go to the straightened 2.5k version. These shots were all made having the gimbal set to track motion which is its uh, default setting. I've also tried doing a shot with it set to keep it straight in the same direction. You can set that up as a permanent setting in the gimbal settings on the camera, but I just held down the knob on the back of the gimbal. When you have the stabilizer and the camera turned on, you'll notice there's an extra icon in screen indicating that the gimbal is connected. Tapping on that icon takes you into a menu to set up the gimbal's main tracking features and to set up the direction of the joystick on the handle. It would be great to see this setup menu also appear in the app as now you have to tap on the camera to set these up. But since this product is unreleased and not even announced at this moment, this could very well change when it starts shipping. As the gimbal concerns, it works really well, it feels really well, and it performs great. It feels really robust and it's a very welcome accessory for this camera. Comparing a shot on the bike without the gimbal and with the gimbal, and you can see how much that's improved. These micro shocks that I had on the bike earlier just holding the camera are really absorbed well. As for an update on the 4K camera, the whole menu in the Mi Home app for this camera has now been translated to English, so it's a lot easier to set it up. I did have some trouble with the constant changing exposure. Depending on the exposure metering setting and if you have the auto white balance turned on, the exposure can change quite drastically. It would be great to have an exposure lock feature in the settings. Overall, the gimbal is a very awesome product. At the moment, I don't know the price it will be going for or when it will be officially announced, but I've got a feeling this might be quite soon. I'm definitely going to be covering this in the episode of what is Xiaomi doing when this is actually getting announced. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've learned something today about this uh, upcoming sweet looking product and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace!